no matter who's making America great, and I'm 50 years old and I'm driving a truck and I'm gonna be happy because it's gonna be 11% growth in the next five years, then all of a sudden, bang, UPS, bang, American Express, Postal Service, Uber, automated, you're all fired. What am I gonna do then? Because I'm sitting here telling you that America's gonna be great and I'm gonna be good forever. Yeah, I mean, What's look, that, that's going political. Like anybody, anybody that thinks the President of the United States, whether it's Barack or Donald or Bernie or Hillary, is gonna help them, they're a fucking loser. Straight up. Absolutely. I promise you, you are. That means you need some, I, like, so like whether, you're, whether your president is for minorities and females or your president is you know, for the 26 year old white male that's got no skills, here's the punchline. The market is the market. What is the 54 year old gonna do? Adjust or lose. Right, but how do, we, how, how do we get that message out to say, you know what, you can probably drive a truck till you're 55, you can program and tech and do those till you're 90. Talking to BMW, they said that they can't get enough kids to be, uh, to be technicians because their theory is the old, uh, the, old, the old mechanic with the big grease on his shirt. I was talking to the head of the heavy machinery operations, meaning crane operators. They said their jobs are empty for 15 months. These kids can go to school for one year come out and make $150,000, but yet, they're going to a school, 50% of them will retire with a title of a job that doesn't exist today, they're staying in school for four years, half of digital classes, they're leaving with $300,000 in debt and they still don't know how to operate anything. So how do we get the parents in this room to save that money? How do we get the kids in this room, well not the kids in this room, but who's gonna watch this online, to understand what they need to do and move ahead and not think a diploma is gonna save me, the president is gonna save me, welfare is gonna save me, or anything else. How do we, what happens then? What needs to happen? Carnage. <laughs> Carnage needs to happen. People are complacent. Here's most people's strategies in life. <gasps> <laughs> you hold me breath. <laughs> I mean, I, I really have no passion for this conversation. Like, if you are not capable in 2017 to Google shit and figure out what's going on in the world, fuck you. I'm being dead serious, by the way, I'm being really serious. Like, what role does the government play or thought leaders or this and that? Whatever that cliche statement of like, the teacher comes when the student is ready, right? I believe in that thing. Like, like I don't know, like, I'm not, lots of things happen. Like, lots of things happen in life, right? I woke up one morning and realized, you know what, this liquor shipping law is never gonna get better. There's dirty politician money, they're gonna keep paying this off and I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life worrying about what the right thing to do is and what's right. No, they're gonna keep paying off politicians state by state and because I'm the biggest, I'll always be picked on. So I adjusted, I started over. I started over. Like, I started over. Like this whole wine library thing and I got so lucky, guess what? I own 0% of wine library because it was under my father's name so I had no collateral to even start it. I started VaynerMedia by getting somebody to pay me $80,000 to do a marketing campaign and I built it. And so that's what's gonna happen and everybody has their version. Not everybody has my business talent to build billion dollar companies but if you're making 74,000 or 197,000 or whatever you're making and your market gets fucked, I don't see truck driver Johnny feeling bad for Rick the bookstore owner because Amazon came along. This, happen, this has happened forever. This is not the first time that innovation fucked shit up. Nobody's crying for the farmers in middle America. Nobody's crying for the people in Cleveland who own the docks. This is what always happens. So this is what's up now. And so what 55 year old Charles has to do when he is out of a job is get another job. Whatever that job is. So if Charles is smart and has skills He's teaching himself something now to be ready for three years from now. But Charles wants to watch football. But so Charles he, wants to drink at the bar. So he needs to put his 20% into what's going on in the future. Mister, that's and, right. And bank that. You're damn right. 